Hi there, Greg Factor from White Black Digital here. Uh, we put together videos like this for small and medium businesses on a huge variety of topics um, to help you make great and informed decisions when it comes to your web development and online marketing. Um, today I want to talk about remarketing. Um, let's head over to our blog section. Um, so the headline for the article is um, how to use remarketing um, to increase your sales in your business. Um, so um, best way to describe what remarketing actually is, um, is by use of an example. Um, so let us uh, paint the following scenario in your head. Um, like me, if uh, you're a runner, um, you probably go through a lot of uh, running shoes and uh, you need to buy them fairly often. So when it comes to buying running shoes, you have two options. You can either do it by visiting a major shopping center like Chatston or Westfield Bondi or High Point Shopping Center, wherever it is that you choose, or you can purchase it online. So let's just, let's just say you go and you uh, go to your major shopping center, you go to Chatston, and uh, at Chatston, you go into Rebel Sport and you find a pair of Nike Pegasus that you want to buy. Um, just as you're about to buy them, you think to yourself, you know what, let me just check the price somewhere else. So you leave Rebel Sport and you go into Foot Locker. And at Foot Locker, they've got the same shoes, same price, but a different color. So now you've got a tough decision to make. Which shoes do you purchase? Uh, you suddenly think to yourself, you know what, I'll buy those shoes later today. Let me finish up doing the shopping that I need at other stores. And then right at the end of the day, um, you, you'll decide to go get the shoes that you that you want. End of the day approaches and you can't be bothered with any more shopping. So you don't buy your running shoes. You jump in your car and you head on home. So the retailers that you visited, Foot Locker and Nike, um, have now lost that sale to you. And they don't really have a, a clear way of reaching out to you in a week or two or three or four and saying, hey, by the way, remember those running shoes that you looked at? Are you ready to buy them now? They've lost you. Um, let's now look at a different scenario. You then get home and uh, you haven't bought, bought the running shoes from uh, Chatston. And you're now on your couch, you're watching TV, you grab your iPad and you type in their Nike Pegasus running shoes. Um, hundreds of websites come up. You start sifting through the different websites, trying to find the cheapest price, the best color, um, everything that you want. Then all of a sudden you get distracted for whatever reason. Maybe your kid's calling you or whatever it is that you get distracted and you leave your iPad. Um, and then, you know, you don't purchase the running shoes that night. Then for some reason, um, the next day or where, whenever it is, a week or two later, wherever you go on the internet, um, you see other websites or websites advertising for Nike Pegasus running shoes. In fact, some of the websites that you visited um, are advertising um, for, web, for those exact same running shoes. And you think to yourself, geez, these guys are all clever. How do they know that I want running shoes? So you've done your search in Google and all these different search results, you know, and you've visited some of these pages, Nike.com, uh, Foot Locker, .com.au, wiggle.com.au, the athlete's foot, etc. Then when you're on a website like news.com.au, they have a lot of advertising. And you can see here, um, Duda Mobile is advertising. Um, and you will notice in this particular area on news.com.au that they sometimes want to advertise those running shoes to you. And Google has um, thousands of partner websites that actually get paid, um, you know, for advertising purposes, obviously. But those partner websites are related to remarketing. So when you actually visit any of these websites, how it works is they plant a cookie in your browser. You can't get a virus from a cookie. Um, and um, the cookie... Um, has information on it and it tells uh, Google you know when to run the advert on news.com.au um, and it can tell them you know to advertise for 
um, Nike Air Pegasus or for a brand that you've visited, so um, you know Rebel or any other website that you've been to. And that is what remarketing is. And it, it's brilliant. It, it's very, very effective. Um, there's a lot more information in this article about what it is and, you know, a very strong definition and how remarketing can help you make sales. Um, going back to our example of comparing brick and, bricks and mortar retailers compared to um, online um, retailers, um, this option isn't available for bricks and mortar retailers. They cannot do remarketing. However, for the online um, retailers, they can do it. And it's, it's very powerful and strong. And it's something, whether you are a retailer or a service-based business, we strongly recommend that you uh, use uh, remarketing on your website. Um, there's more information in the article about how it actually works if you want uh, a little bit more details. Um, so how do you get going with remarketing? Well, it's one of those things that we suggest you get a, you know, your web developer or online uh, marketing um, consultants to help you install. Um, of course, if you have any questions or information, you can get in touch with us through uh, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. And we also recommend that you subscribe to our White Black Digital YouTube channel for more videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.